Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the Vermi bag. I'm sorry the lighting is not ideal, but I wanted to bring you guys along for a little midweek, I'm sorry, not a midweek, a full week look in here. Um, so let me get up top and we will see how they are getting along. Okay, so we had that soap stock up here that we were letting the worms work on. And kind of the status quo lately, it seems like the springtails are even more abundant than anything else in our bin, but I'm not seeing any big pieces of that soup stock remaining at all. And there are a good number of worms still in the area. So I think they're definitely getting to work on it. Just another one of those things that kind of irritates me. I don't really like the appearance of all of the springtails in my systems. But I am finding, now that they've been a problem for me a few months, that when I screen my castings and store them, um, within really a couple of weeks, you don't see any springtails anymore. So I guess for what it's worth, it doesn't seem like it's a long-term issue. Like once they're in, they're in for good. Just like we've seen in some of the systems, their numbers kind of wax and wane, um, but it doesn't seem like they survive in castings without any fresh food. So anyway, I thought I would mention that, but um, these castings still are really nice and flaky. This bedding is dry. Um, I haven't been in here as many times as I was hoping to this week to moisten down the top. And we were having a lot of rain, so I wanted to be careful about adding too much because these blue worms can get a little feisty about it and go wandering on you if it's too wet. It's kind of finding that good middle of the ground balance. But in general in here, I don't know how I've accumulated all of this junky stuff at the top. Um, but it seems to be working well because all of the food that's underneath of it and all the castings are really, really nice. They're flaky, not wet, perhaps borderline dry if I want to be completely honest, but um, not terrible. So I think these guys could definitely go for a feeding. So I think today I might feed this backside and maybe just put a little something right in front of the window. But as far as main feeding, I want to do back here. So let me go grab a little something and we will get these guys fed up. Okay, so I just put a bunch of um, shredded newspaper in here, mixed some oyster shell in with it. Um, and if you guys follow my um, forbidden foods bin, you will know that I fed pineapple to that bin. And I have some pineapple today and I am going to put it in here because... I really don't have any concern about it being dangerous to my worms, especially because there's plenty of escape room for them if something were to be too acidic, uh, even just temporarily for them. So I'm just going to put those three pieces in. I'm going to grab a little bit of eggshell just to be over generous with it. And I'm just going to use some of this loose bedding to cover this back up. And I will wet this whole top down before I close this system up for the day. But up front, in front of our window, I was thinking of adding something I've been putting in my bins uh, regularly lately, although it's definitely a seasonal item, is corn. Worms absolutely love it. They love to lay their eggs in, you know, the little kernel pockets and... They just seem to go for it no matter what. So I thought that might be something fun for in front of the window because it doesn't break down really quickly. So they will be there more than just this week. You know, we will be able to see the worms. So um, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of keep this all loosely covered up. I will wet down the top of the system to make sure that we keep, keep the castings in here nice and and moist but uh, let's take a quick peek in front of the window before we leave for today um, please let me know what you think drop those comments below like this video 
Uh, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon. But let's pop down here real quick. Can't even see the corn in the window just yet. I think it's right above. Um, just to be safe, why don't I push it down a little bit here? And let's see if we can see it now. Ah, perfect. So it's right along the top rim of our window there. So I think that should be excellent. I'm hoping they'll go for that. And we will have quite a show put on for us next week. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night.